Yo, what's up, Internet? My name is Anthony, and the Raiders schedule got announced on Thursday. I'm going to do a notes and observation video this time. I'll do predictions closer to when the season starts. Let's get started. First off, I think the league knows that the Raiders have arrived. They have five primetime games, including three Sunday night football, one Thursday night football, and one Monday night football. Usually, the best play on primetime and the Raiders certainly fit that group. If these games are anything like last year's, the games should be close and exciting to watch. That's exactly what the NFL schedule makers are hoping for. Remember there was talk about the Raiders not playing well at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time games? Well, that really wasn't a problem last year. This year, the Raiders will have to worry about that problem even less. There's only three 10 a.m. games, including the season opener against Tennessee. The other early games include the Bills and the Chiefs. Personally, I don't like waking up early on Sunday, but the fact that there's only three games makes it better for me. I just want it to be known that I hate Thursday night football. The games aren't as good, and the fact that it's against division rivals makes it worse. Last year, the Raiders were at a disadvantage having to travel to face the Chiefs. This year, the Chiefs come to Oakland on Thursday. Not only do the Raiders not have to travel two time zones, the Raiders will be well rested since that will be the last game of a three game homestand. If there's any team you want two weeks to prepare for, it's the Patriots. Luckily, that's just what the Raiders got. They get a bye week before facing the Patriots. The Raiders lose a home game, but both teams will have to travel pretty far since they're playing in Mexico City. Last year, the crowd was pretty pro Raiders, and that should certainly be the case this year. We knew that the Raiders were going to get a tough schedule, but the Raiders have a six week stretch where they play five playoff teams and the Broncos. The combined record will be 69 wins and 27 losses. Hey. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. I'm personally excited for this stretch since we will get to see just how good the Raiders are. The Raiders might get the biggest game of the season. Monday Night Football on Christmas Day against the Eagles. The Eagles are a team on the rise and will be a good test for the Raiders. What better way to show how far the Raiders have come than a primetime game during the biggest holiday in the US. The Raiders return to LA on the final game of the season. I hope we show the Chargers which team runs LA. The stadium will be filled black with Raiders fans. The fans will show that the NFL made a mistake by choosing the Chargers over the Raiders when it came to relocating to LA. In other news, the Raiders picked up Khalil Mack's fifth year option. This comes as no surprise and it's just a formality. Now the Raiders can focus on signing Derek Carr and Gabe Jackson. I'm sure Mack will be the highest paid defensive player in the NFL when he finally signs his extension. Yeah.